Hey guys, John here with Realtruck.com and today I want to show you how to install the Rigid Industries Radiance 20 inch LED light bar on this 2014 Jeep JK Series Wrangler. As you can see we have our light out of the box and it comes with the light itself and the wiring that's already attached to it. The only thing that you're going to need to get this installed onto your Jeep, depending on where you're going to put it, is some optional things such as the clamps that you can put on the bars on this rack to hold it on. And it's also recommended that you have this dual switch uh, wiring harness because the way this light works it is that it has a light up blue background and then it also has the lights in it that light up as well so you want to wire them the two separate switches so I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like on the Jeep so let's get it all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this self-locking hex nut on the side of our light bar we're going to do this on both sides and the reason we're going to do this is so that we can attach our mounting bracket on here now you'll see there's a a kind of like a spacer in here. We're going to leave that in there in place. And then we're going to attach our mounting bracket just like so. I'll flip it this way so you guys can see it a little easier. The washer back on and then this self-locking hex nut. Now I'm just going to snug this down. We don't want to tighten this. Um, because we, we're going to have to move this around in order to get it set in place and then we'll do the other side. This Jeep being a typical type of trail vehicle, one of the big problems that you might run into out on the trail, especially in, in dark or low light conditions, is trying to back up and see where you're going so you, know, you don't back off a hillside or back into a tree or a rock. So what we're going to do then is we've already put a 30 inch light bar like that one on the front of this. We're going to put that 20 inch back here so that we can use it to light up our path when we're backing up. So the next step of the process once we have our, our mounting brackets attached to our light is to go ahead and put these on the bar. And they just gonna, they're just going to slip right over the bar like so. And another one over here. And once we have those on there, then we can get our light and uh, get it in place up here on the bar. All right, so we're just going to take our mounting bracket and we're going to slide it right in place here, just like so. And then we're going to put our bolt through it. Our self-locking nut on the other side. We'll attach our self-locking nut here on the other side. And then we'll do the same thing on the other one. And then we'll be ready to set this in place. All right, so what I've done then is it just works out that a two by four is just about the right perfect thickness for where I want to set this light at. So I'm going to just set it on there, tighten up the, the mounting brackets here, and that's going to hold it in place. And then once we do that, we can adjust our light to where we want it set for the, how much it's pointed up or down and uh, get everything tightened up. And then we'll be ready to start wiring this thing in. All right, so what I've done then is it just works out that a two by four is just about the right perfect thickness for where I want to set this light at. So I'm going to just set it on there, tighten up the, the mounting brackets here, and that's going to hold it in place. And then once we do that, we can adjust our light to where we want it set for the, how much it's pointed up or down and uh, get everything tightened up. And then we'll be ready to start wiring this thing in. I'm gonna tighten down this one that holds the, the mounting bracket to the clamp. And then we're gonna set our light to the tilt that we want it at. Right, so everything's tightened up. We're just gonna get our angle that we're looking for here. And that's right about where we're gonna want it. And uh, you're probably like, well, how does he know that? Well, it's just from experience from putting a lot of these on. So, so we've got this all attached. Everything's all tight and ready to go. The next thing we're going to do then is wire up our switches so we can turn this thing on so you guys can see how cool it really is. What we're doing to wire this up 
is that we want to put our switches up by the by the front driver's seat so that we have access to them to easily turn this off and on. But if you may have noticed, the problem is, is the wiring harness isn't long enough. So we're just going to add some wire into the harness. We've got some of this coated wire that I picked up at a local uh, auto parts store. And uh, you can notice here it's only a two wire and we need three. So what we did then is we just took and ran a double strand of it and then we just cut one wire off. Now these two I'm going to wire right up on this light just so I know what I'm doing to the red and black. And this lone one, we're going to wire it right to the white one. And then this is going to attach in to our harness up on the front. And that's where everything's going to get hooked up to the battery and the, uh, the switches and the cab and such. So I'm going to get this all hooked up. And then once I get this hooked up and ran, I'll come back and I'll show you guys how we ran it through here to keep it nice and neat and uh, where we hooked everything up, up under the hood. So let's get to it. Okay, so what I'm doing here at this point is I've got the wires hooked up to the light bar and I'm just going along now and prepping these coated wires to put inside a wire loom. And uh, the reason why we're doing that is just because it keeps everything neat and tidy and uh, all in one spot. Basically, this is a wire loom. It's a plastic coated, or, well, it's actually plastic material and it's split down the center. And uh, we're just gonna fish this wire right through this and then we're gonna run it all along this top rail and down through where we put the front light bar wiring at. And uh, when I get to the point of uh, putting this on, I'll show you guys how to slide this on there. It's really simple, so not a big deal. But uh, let's get this finished up and then we'll get to that. Like I was saying, uh, We've got our coat of wire here and uh, we've got it all prepped and ready to put this wire, plastic wire loom on. And it's not that you really need it because this is a, co a double coat of wire. It's got a, an outer coating plus the wire itself is coated. But this just keeps everything nice and neat looking and uh, just keeps it nice and clean. And you're just going to basically slide it right on like that and just slide it along the wire. And as you're doing that, just, it just pushes in to the opening where, it, where the, the wire loom's actually got a split in it there. And you just keep doing that and just feed it along the wire until we get it all the way back to the light. And then we're gonna run it all the way up to the front. So I'll get this finished up and then I'll show you guys what we're gonna be up to next. Okay, right, now that we've got our wire all inside this loom and it's gonna look all nice and neat and clean, we take zip strips and uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap them around the bars and attach them to our, our wiring loom just like so. Zip them down just to hold this all in place so that way it's not flopping around. Plus we can kind of hide it up underneath a little bit that way. Now there's a couple different things you could do here. Uh, you could either use these zip strips like this or uh, if you really wanted to, uh, if you wanted to get really serious about it, you could actually drill a hole in your bars and run them inside because these are hollow and put all this inside the bars. That's what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna go through and zip strip this all in place, uh, just like so. And then I'll uh, show you guys how to hook up the wiring in the front. So we've got our wire all loomed up, nice and neat uh, and tidy looking up on the rails. Brought it down, run it through over here. We've taken the wires that go to our switches, ran them through, there's a little uh, disc shaped spot in the firewall over there, ran them through to the inside so that we can hook the switches up in there. And uh, so now we're gonna take our wiring, the, the other end that has the fuse connector on it, make sure that the, there's no fuse in that holder. And we're gonna hook this up to the battery, red to the, the battery plus positive and black to the battery negative minus. So we'll get that hooked up and then we'll go ahead and zip strip everything up back here nice and neat out of the way. Now if you notice when you got your wiring kit there's several different fuse sizes in there. The reason being is, is that because it depends on which uh, size light bar you have will determine what fuse you use. So make sure you look at the little chart that comes with your wiring kit to see which one you need for your 20 inch light bar. So we're gonna put this here, get this hooked up, the wiring hooked up here and get it all zip stripped up in place. Then we're gonna go inside and hook the switches up 
and then we'll come back out, install a fuse, and we'll be ready to turn this light bar on so you guys can see how well it works on the back of this Jeep. Uh, in the meantime, then, we're ready to install our fuse. Now, remember to check that sheet and uh, that comes with your, your uh, harness. And on there, because it's a 20-inch light, then we're going to use the 15-amp fuse, which is the blue one. We're just going to install it into our fuse holder properly. Push it down in so that it's in nice and snug. Put the cap on. And there we go. Tuck this wire down in here so it's out of the way. All right, so there you go, guys. That's how quick and easy it is to install the Rigid Industries Radiance LED light bar onto your vehicle. So, there's only one thing left to do at this point, guys, and that's turn it on, see how cool it looks back there. And remember, until next time, happy motoring.